Hi foodies. Lamb is something that I really enjoy. Sometimes it's on the expensive side though. So I try to get lamb shoulder steaks because they're not that pricey, but they are meaty and flavorful. Once lamb is well seasoned or marinated, it is so delicious. So I'm going to cook some shoulder steaks today. Let's get into it. Today I'm going to be using this steak seasoning. You can use your favorite steak seasoning or if you find lamb seasoning, you can use that. So I have two lamb shoulder steaks and I'm just going to drizzle some oil all over and then we're going to rub it in and season it. We're going to treat it like a steak. So in the description box below the video, I will leave the list of ingredients. So this cut of meat really does well with um, a good marinade. So if you want to marinate it, you can. You could use some oil, some garlic, some herbs, a little lemon zest, you know, if you want to marinate it overnight. However, it is a steak. So you can treat it like a steak, like you would a beef steak with just a really nice steak rub. Lamb has a really beautiful flavor, so you don't have to do too much if you don't want to. So I'm just gonna rub this in and we're gonna let it sit for a little bit before we cook it. So I'll let the lamb sit at room temperature for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna cook this over medium high heat in a cast iron pan. So I have my oil in the cast iron pan already and I'm just gonna lay these in the pan. So what we're gonna do is cook for about five to six minutes on each side. You do not wanna overcook this. I did cut it in half. I cut this piece in half because it was just a little too big. So about five to six minutes on each side, you'll be good. You just want a beautiful sear. You don't wanna overcook this because if you do, it's gonna get tough. So we're gonna treat it like a steak. We're gonna add some cold butter, some herbs. I have some oregano and thyme, and um, I'm gonna add some garlic too. If you have rosemary, definitely add it here. And then I'm just gonna spoon up this beautifully flavored butter all over the lamb steaks, just like I would if I was cooking a beautiful ribeye steak. So just keep spooning this over while it continues to cook. When it comes to shoulder steaks, you have to cook it briefly or cook it for a long time, okay? There is no in-between. If you do an in-between, it's going to be tough. So we are just going to cook this for a little bit. So once you flip it, you definitely want to keep spooning all that butter all over just to get it nice and moist and to get the flavor from the herbs and the garlic into the steak. Now, just like we would with a beef steak, this is good to go. However, I'm going to be adding some Worcestershire sauce to this and a drizzle of honey as well. This is optional, but I do enjoy doing it this way. So Worcestershire sauce and honey, we drizzled that in there. And then we're just going to mix it with the butter and spoon it all over the steaks. And that is that guys. 
really simple and delicious. It is juicy and tender. And all those juices in the pan, you're going to serve that up with the lamb. Okay, especially if you're having this with mashed potatoes, it is so good with the potatoes. I had this with some veggies and creamy mashed potatoes. It was absolutely delicious. You want to rest the lamb for at least four minutes before you start eating it. Allow those juices to you know, kind of redistribute throughout the meat before cutting into it. So let it sit for a few minutes before diving in and you will enjoy this really beautiful flavor because I used the steak rub, one of my favorite steak rubs, and it is so flavorful. But the lamb on its own has a nice, delicate flavor. I love it. So give this a try, guys, and let me know what you think. This is an alternative to, you know, some lamb chops. Lamb chops tend to be a little more expensive, but you can cook your shoulder steaks and still be able to enjoy some lamb. It was so delicious. So I want to hear what you think once you try it out. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time.